What's up? Woo! Um, hair's a little messy. Been a long night of wrestling. Not complaining or anything, just tired. Um, I had to take a few minutes uh, to recap or, you know, try to get over the main event, even though it's predictable. Uh, a lot, of, lot, I mean, a lot of things in wrestling is predictable. Uh, a lot of the outcomes I thought were, which is not really a big deal, but, uh, let's see, never won. That was actually a decent match. Uh, that kind of surprised me. Um, I'm glad, thank you. That's, that was good that he won. Uh, the Battle Royal, uh, I did not like it at all. Like, uh, Braun Strowman, Big Show dominated for a bit. And then they got eliminated by everyone. And then after that, just kind of blah. Uh, Mojo won. Gronk came in, interfered. Stupid, in my I mean, it just, it was horrible. It didn't really help anyone. No up and coming. A lot of different people should have been there that wasn't even in or on WrestleMania. Uh, there's, a, there's a lot of people that kind of surprised me that weren't all at WrestleMania whatsoever. Uh, but oh well. Um, I can't remember their exact order. The Women's uh, Championship was surprising. I did not think Bailey would come out victorious. Uh, it was kind of reminded me of kind of WrestleMania 2000, where everyone gained up on the big show and he got eliminated first. Kind of happened with Jax. Uh, kind of weird finish, but you know, uh, then Banks got eliminated and Charlotte, and then yeah, I'm glad she won. That's uh, she's fun. She's you know positive, so she can give me a hug anytime. Um. But, you know, with Ric Flair getting the statue and stuff, I thought maybe being in, in uh, ending, his, ending his career there, I thought Charlotte would get the belt for the 16th time. Um, tag Team Championship uh, was awesome. Um, was not expecting the Hardy Boys to return. They did everything to try to kill those rumors. Uh, we can't come back WrestleMania got our Reign of Honor contracts throughout the summer, and then New Day is like, oh, who's the fourth tag team? Oh, it's the Hardy Boys. So, that was sweet. Not only did they come back, they won. It was awesome how they won. Uh, Matt did a twist of fate uh, off the ladder, and then Jeff Hardy did the swan time bomb off the big ladder, and then Matt climbed, which I think is perfect. Matt should be the one to get the titles and the Hardy Boys won new tag team champs hell yeah alright alright yeah whatever so that was to me that was my favorite moment uh, intercontinental match it's like one of the longest so I think second longest it was a good match um, kind of surprised Dean won not a problem with it but it was pretty cool how he won uh, Corbin went for the end of days and then turned into Dirty Deeds that was kind of that was a good match, though. I, I, I liked it. A little long, but... Speaking of long, Triple H and Seth Rollins might have been the best match, honestly. I mean, I really like the tag team match just because the outcome and the shock value. Um, no Samoa Joe, which... I wish you were came out. You know, I'm glad the outcome... I'm glad Rollins won, but, you know, that was good... It made sense, but Samoa Joe wasn't at WrestleMania at all, so I don't know. They use him in very oddly. Uh, but, you know, how WWE is, you know, signed like DDP and then he does nothing. Maybe that's what they're doing with TNA Superstar, so. You know, they had Booker T was the one exception. AJ Styles was the one exception. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Uh, but, uh. It was a good match. I liked uh, so many reversals and counters. Just, uh, 
I like Stephanie went through a table. That was pretty sweet. And then Pettigrew. The irony of that. Uh, Seth Rollins wins. So, good. This, actually, no, this might have been my favorite match. Shane McMahon and AJ Styles surprised me. I did not think, I figured Shane would have his big spots, and that was it. He actually wrestled throughout the whole match pretty well. And did the angle slam, you know. Of course, you know, him and Kurt's history, so that's really cool. You know, honor of Kurt. That's cool. But, um, the coast to coast, AJ tried it. Didn't happen. Shane tried it, got it. Of course, elbow drop missed through the table. Figured that was over. <clears throat> but no, Shane had a little fight in him. And eventually, yeah, it was over. So, uh, AJ won, which, of course, you know. Uh, but it was a good match. Um, championship matches. Uh, Randy Orton, or oh, the SmackDown Women's Championship. I am the one, which... Uh, Pretty cool after that injury uh, match was just kind of take a break after the championship matches for the main event, which was, I'm surprised this was the main event, but I'm cool with it. Anyways, just, I just wanted to get that out of the way. Uh, so championship matches uh, was short. Both were really short. Like the Triple H and Dean Ambrose matches were long, way longer. Like. I think just uh, Triple H and Seth Rollins' match was the longest. And then I think Dean and Corbin's, that match by itself was longer than the championship matches combined. That's doesn't make sense. But, actually, before the... See, I, I should have wrote these down. Kevin Owens and Chris Jericho. This was my favorite storyline. wasn't my favorite match was a disappointer I think just uh really good I liked the uh, one Jericho kicked out of the pop-up power bomb and then Owens went for again turned into the code breaker and then Owens kicked out Jericho got uh power bombed on the edge of the ring or whatever and that was it um Owens new uh US champion which you know, Jericho's gonna be torn and stuff, so it's kind of makes sense. You know, Jericho, Jericho likes to be a rock star, so gonna miss that. No, that is a good storyline. And my second favorite storyline Randy Orton and uh, Bray Wyatt. Short match, um, it was pretty good. Um, ending was pretty kind of cool. Uh, Sister Abigail, or it kicks out. Kind of looks like Bray's gonna try again. RKO out of nowhere. One, two, three. Randy Orton wins. I don't. I don't know. I mean, I wish. I mean, I'm glad Bray finally won, but I don't know. That's a good storyline. So really, the winner didn't really mean anything to me. And then a smash, honestly. I'm glad this this better be the last time I see these two in the ring together wrestling each other ever again. Goldberg and Rock Lesnar. So it starts out, Lesnar hits three uh, German suplexes. And then Goldberg hits three spears, one through the barricade. That was the high spot. Then hits a fourth spear, jackhammer, Lesnar kicks out. Okay, this is the real Brock Lesnar. This is the one that broke the streak. Ten German suplexes. The fans are counting, so I feel like whether it was planned or not, Brock had to get the ten. And then F5, 1, 2, 3, new champ. There's a lot of new champions, kind of, so. I think that's kind of cool. Uh, so, Goldberg, please just retire. Speak of retirements, main event. Undertaker and Roman Reigns and there's a hundred different reasons why I think Undertaker's gonna retire and been saying this last how many years but match was is good yeah of course Taker as we've seen is old out of shape and just gas fumes are down um, the hip surgery, surgery and stuff <sighs> Team is over, Roman kicks on, uh, Roman wins. Okay. 
I mean, I don't like Roman Reigns. Who does, right? Um, yeah, so I, uh, not surprising. That's not how anyone wants Undertaker to retire, but you know, I wish Kane would have something with Kane would be kind of cool. Maybe like one more, I don't know. I have no idea. I don't know what would be a stereo <clears throat> where he should come back. It'd be cool to see like him and Kane wrestle one more time as a tag team or something. Or, But, you know, they were chanting, thank you, Taker, after the match, which is nice. And the fact that he got the main event kind of seems like that's his last hurrah. So I don't know. Excited for Raw. The crowd's always extra wild, so. Oh, we're, actually, I don't mind Eddie on this note. John Cena... That match is just horrible. It was just so... I'm not even talking about the match. But John Miz actually did pretty well. Like, he played in the crowd really well. But, uh... John Cena and Bella won. But he proposed afterwards. She said yes. And started crying and stuff. And I thought that's really cool. Um... You know, it's always nice to see positive things like that. So congrats on those two. And WrestleMania is good. Not one of the greatest. It was just it was good, I guess. Yeah, I'm excited for all. Hopefully, uh, some shit goes down. So, yeah, it's it definitely top 20. <laughs> Alright, later.